why would praying to Mary have any effect on the world situation? And how could it prevent things from happening? Uh, well, in fact, there is a, a direct spiritual relationship between our prayers, uh, from a Catholic perspective, and the world scene. For example, recently the president of the Philippines actually sent a petition for this fifth dogma to Pope Benedict, and in that petition for this fifth dogma, she talked about this proclamation of Mary as co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate actually having a role to stave off natural disaster. Uh, what's the principle behind that? Well, that through our prayers, uh, good things can happen and evil things can either be removed or they can be mitigated. So if in the prayer of the Lady of All Nations, Our Lady is asking uh, us to pray to Jesus, that the Holy Spirit would come down at the hearts of nations, preventing degeneration, disaster, war. Uh, that means on a positive dimension that graces would convert hearts, would uh, take away opportunities for war, would bring forward conversion to families and societies, and would even stave off natural disaster. Such is the power of the intercession of Mary. The ultimate remedy for world peace and the most important prophecy of the entire Amsterdam message is the Lady's request for the Pope of the Catholic Church to make a formal declaration or dogma that the Mother of Jesus is in fact the spiritual mother of all humanity. If the Pope solemnly declares the existing Catholic teaching that Mary is truly the spiritual mother of all peoples, then and only then, according to the Amsterdam message, will she be able to fully and most powerfully enact her roles of motherly intercession for humankind at the present critical hour of human history. On May 31st, 2002, Bishop Josef Maria Pont of Amsterdam declared the messages and apparitions of the Lady of All Nations as essentially, quote, consisting of a supernatural origin. At the Marian apparition site in Akita, Japan, declared authentic by the local bishop in 1984, a wooden statue of the Lady of All Nations wept 101 times. These lacrimations, or tears, were filmed, documented, and scientifically analyzed. The results? The tears are genuine human tears. The Marian message of Akita is a continuation of the message of the Lady of All Nations in Amsterdam. The Akita message also speaks of an upcoming global calamity which is reportedly, quote, greater than the flood. This modern deluge will take place if humanity does not turn back to God in prayer and conversion. The message states that Mary alone can intercede for the graces needed to prevent such a deluge. Although the epicenter of the massive 2011 Japanese earthquake and tsunami was relatively close to the region where the Akita apparitions took place, the damage to this region was far less severe than other regions of similar proximity. In 1973, in a Catholic convent in a small hamlet outside the city of Akita, Japan, Sister Agnes Sasagawa, in the Japanese chapel of the Eucharistic Handmaids of the Sacred Heart, experienced the first of many supernatural occurrences. When Sister Agnes opened the tabernacle for adoration in June of 1973, a very strong light came from it, filling the chapel. This occurred for three consecutive days, as well as on the Feast of Corpus Christi. On one of these occasions, she also saw angels worshiping the Holy Eucharist in a semicircle around the altar. On the vigil of the Feast of the Sacred Heart in June of 1973, Sister Sasagawa's guardian angel appeared to her while she was ill in a hospital. While there, the angel taught her the Fatima prayer to be said after each decade of the rosary. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. 
and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. This prayer was virtually unknown in Japan in the early 1970s. On the same occasion as the apparition of her guardian angel, a wound in the form of a cross appeared in the hollow of Sister Sasagawa's left hand and began to bleed. On July 6, 1973, a Eucharistic prayer, which was written by Bishop John Ito, now retired ordinary of the Diocese of Niigata, was recited in the chapel by Sister Sasagawa with Our Lady adding the word truly to the text. This Eucharistic prayer signifies the importance of the true presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Later that same day, a bleeding wound appeared on the right hand of the statue of Our Lady in the chapel. Sister's guardian angel told her the flowing of blood is significant for the conversion of sinners and in reparation for sins. On September 23, 1973, the statue began to sweat from the face to the feet. Both eyes overflowed with tears which streamed down the face. A sweet, fragrant odor filled the chapel. This occurred many times in the presence of others, including Bishop John Ito, who had the tears tested at a leading Japanese university. The test proved them to be human tears. The statue wept a total of 101 times. Gijido Fujimoto, an eyewitness to the events, describes his experience. I saw tears flowing from the statue of the Blessed Mother streaming down her face to the grove at the base. I even tasted the tears, which were very salty. It made me think that the Blessed Mother must have a special message for me and for others, because when a human mother sheds tears in front of her children, there is a serious reason. So I thought that when the Heavenly Mother sheds her tears through a statue, she must have an urgent message for all of us. According to Sister Sasagawa, the Blessed Virgin wants to gather compassionate souls who can please God by their sufferings. This is exactly what Our Lady wants here in Akita. You must become repentant. Start praying to God with good, pure hearts. Convert to God and turn your lives over to Him. It is important to become a Christian and to know the mercy of God. God wants us to amend our lives. The world is so corrupt and egocentric. He loves us so deeply. He is trying to save us from the chastisements through Our Lady's messages. Only prayer will accomplish the road of spreading the message. After 11 years of investigation, Bishop John Ito, then ordinary of the Diocese of Niigata, officially declared the events regarding the statue and the messages delivered to Sister Agnes Sasagawa to be of supernatural origin. I believe the third message in Akita has a deep connection with Fatima. Even after the Blessed Virgin gave the message in Fatima, the people did not repent with their lives. Our Lady had to repeat and revive the memory of Fatima again. その時までは私の娘を、よく聞きなさい。そして、あなたの頂上に告げなさい。前にも伝えたように、もし人々が悔い改めないなら、御父は人類の上に大いなる罰を下そうとされております。その時、御父は
大洪水よりも、うん、重い今までにない罰を下さるに違いありません火が天から下りその災いによって人類の多くの人々が死ぬでしょう良い人も悪い人と共に司祭も信者と共に死ぬでしょう生き残った人々には死んだ人を羨むほどの苦難があるでしょうその時私たちに残された武器はロザリオと恩子の残された印だけです毎日ロザリオの祈りを唱えてくださいロザリオの祈りを持って死去・死災のために祈ってください悪魔は教会の中まで入り込みカルジナルはカル,カルジナルに司教は司教に対立するでしょう私を敬う司祭は同僚から軽蔑され攻撃されるでしょう祭壇や教会は荒らされ教会は妥協するものでいっぱいになり悪魔の誘惑によって多くの司祭や修道者が辞めるでしょう特に悪魔は御父に捧げられた霊魂の霊魂に働きかけておりますたくさんの霊魂を失うことは私の悲しみですこれ以上罪が続くならもう罪の許しはないでしょう勇気を持ってあなたの頂上に告げてくださいあなたの頂上は祈りと食材の技に励むことを一人一人に伝えて熱心に祈るように命じるでしょうというようなそういうあの厳しいお言葉でございました。Blessed Mother Teresa of Calcutta offered her own simple yet profound summary of Mary's role as co redemptrix, mediatrix of all graces, and advocate, and why it should be proclaimed. Mary is our co redemptrix with Jesus. She gave Jesus his body and suffered with him at the foot of the cross. Mary is the mediatrix of all grace. She gave Jesus to us, and as our mother, she obtains for us all of his graces. Mary is our advocate who prays to Jesus for us. The papal definition of Mary as co redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate will bring great graces to the Church. In the final analysis, What objectively do we find in these prophetic utterances received from a Dutch woman in the 1940s and 50s, which she attributes to the mother of Jesus? We find scores of historic prophecies about war, weather, economic crisis, and moral degeneration, many of which we are seeing fulfilled in our midst. We find a request from the world to pray together a prayer to Jesus Christ to prevent degeneration, disaster, and war. And we find a heavenly condition for world peace that the spiritual leader of the Catholic Church publicly declare Mary as spiritual mother of all peoples. Whether these messages are true or not, the specific request from the mother of Jesus for a prayer and a proclamation to bring about the sublime fruit of world peace do not, in themselves, seem too much to ask. We have provided some facts. Now you must decide.